Rich or poor, city kid or village boy, these Dagestani teenagers all share the same dream, becoming an Olympic champion. Many are brought to these wrestling schools by their parents, who are worried about their future in what is known to be a turbulent part of Russia. Dagestan has seen violence by armed groups in the past, and hundreds of Russians, many from this region, are believed to have joined ISIL. The message on the school's banner is clear, sports against drugs and terrorism. 13-year-old Ramazan Isayev started training three years ago. Growing up without his mother in the outskirts of the main city, Mahachkala, he found a new family in the wrestling school. He says his coach did not only teach him wrestling techniques, but gave him a purpose in life. I became calm. My character has changed. I became more respectful. I now start to help people, help them in times of trouble. If they fail or if someone lacks something, I always give. Ramazan and hundreds of Dagestani boys train for many hours each day in an effort to reach the top. But only few make it there. They say fighting is in their blood, so they better use it in a positive way. Even children from the poorest families can become wrestlers. But to these kids, wrestling is not just a sport. It's a way of life. It keeps them out of trouble and gives them some moral guidance. For many, this man is their inspiration. Undefeated mixed martial arts fighter Habib Nurmagomedov, who was born in the mountains of Dagestan. President Vladimir Putin honored him after his last win in 2018, together with his also famous father, who was recognized with the title of honorary coach of Russia. I use my own methods. My work is in the sports hall and my job is to prepare people so they'll be useful for society. Those people who destroy our society and what we have built, we will always fight against them. It's difficult to tell how much impact wrestling has had on efforts to prevent young men joining armed groups. But for boys like Ramazan, who has no means for an expensive education, it has offered more than that one dream of becoming a champion. I want to open a school and teach kids how to wrestle so they can stand on their own two feet, become champions, so they have success in life and make their parents happy and wealthy. And maybe one day he can teach abroad. Officials in Dagestan are planning to open wrestling schools all over the world to spread not only their sport, but a way of life. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Dagestan, Russia.